Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Lent Reflection. Today is Monday, March 5th, and it is uh, Monday in the third week of Lent. Our two scripture readings today come from 2 Kings, chapter 5, verses 1 to 15, and Luke 4, verses 24 to 30. And our quote comes from 2 Kings, chapter 5, verse 13. Quote, But his servants said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? End quote. And our reflection for today is, grace is everywhere. Naaman comes across as a big-time operator. Though afflicted with leprosy, a fairly common uh, skin disease at that time, he was nonetheless highly respected army com uh, commander. A young girl from the land of Israel, urges Naaman to go to Elisha, the prophet, so that he can be cured of his leprosy. It is clear that Naaman was expecting an elaborate ritual. The prophet disappoints him. Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will heal, and you will be clean. End quote. Such simplistic advice irritates Naaman. He, may, he had made a tedious journey only to be told to wash in the muddied waters of the Jordan River. Quote, are you not are not the rivers of Damascus, the Abana and the Farfar better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleaned? End quote. As Naaman was about to return home, his servants reasoned with him. Quote, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, you would you not have done it? End quote. Fortunately for himself, Naaman listens to the advice of his servants and does what he is told and is cured. What seems especially interesting about this story is the fact that God accomplishes his purpose through simple people and in ordinary ways. The first suggestion for Naaman's cure came from a slave girl. The encouragement to do what the prophet recommended came from servants. The cure itself came from seven simple washings in the Jordan. No large dramatic events. No special fanfare. God works in and through the simple things in life. The gospel of today's liturgy is taken from Luke's description of the very beginning of Jesus' ministry in Galilee. One of the points that Jesus makes is that his own people refuse to accept him, refuse to hear with faith the message he preached to them. In this context, he reminds his listeners of the cure of the non-Jew Naaman. In like manner, the kingdom would be preached to so-called outsiders because, quote, no prophet gains acceptance in his native place, end quote. And that quote comes from Luke 4, verse 24. It seems that Jesus was too ordinary for the people of Nazareth. How could he possibly be the Messiah? Quote, how is it that such miraculous deeds are accomplished by his hands? Is not this the carpenter? the son of Mary, a brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon, end quote. And that quote comes from Mark 6, verses 2 to 3. It seems that the neighbors of Jesus already had their minds made up about how the Messiah would come and what spectacular deeds would come before him. They could not accept the fact that Jesus was from God because somehow he was too human, too ordinary, too unspectacular. Do we not often act like Naaman? Do we not frequently behave like the neighbors of Jesus? God touches us through ordinary people, the people with whom we live and work. But somehow, that isn't dramatic enough for us. God speaks his word to us through his modern prophets, through his priests, through his poor. But we keep looking for other, grander voices. We so easily forget that grace is everywhere. So our closing prayer for today comes from Psalm 43, verse 3, and quote, this is the prayer, quote, Send forth your light and your fidelity, and they shall lead me on, and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place, end quote. And our practice for today is this. Today I will try to appreciate how God works in so many ordinary ways in my life. So that's it for today. Uh, a really interesting reflection because, yes, God is everywhere among us. We just have to open our eyes and be open to seeing it. 
So reflect on that some more. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Look all around you. And I'm sure you will see many miracles being uh, performed every day before our very eyes. So take care. See you tomorrow. God bless.